All right, hey everybody. Frankie here at New West Reset. Welcome back. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. And today we're going to be checking out this old library right here, which at one time was a library, then it was an art gallery, and then it was switched back to a library again. I don't know what the hell they're doing. And of course, as you would guess, it's a Carnegie Library. But it's an absolutely beautiful building. It's one of the most beautiful buildings in this entire area. Uh, I am on 12th Avenue and 2nd Street Southwest here today. Uh, and this is part of the Central Memorial Park, which is where they have their uh, war memorial and cenotaph um, as a tribute to veterans, fallen soldiers from World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, so on and so forth. And that's in behind this building. But today we're going to focus on this. And we're going to take a nice look around the whole thing too. But you can see up top all kinds of beautiful detail. All kinds of funny little bobules and little techie whatnots and who's it's going on there. A couple of little terraces that come out of these. Uh, they, to me these look like windows. But I guess at one time they must have been doors. Because they have these little bijou style balconies or terraces on them. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's walk up have a closer look and then we'll do a little Loop-de-loo around this thing and see what the heck's going on But of course right away very suspect where you have like I don't know how many of these stairs are here It might even be a magical number here. Let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen Okay, fourteen well, uh, Two times seven. I don't know. I'm not really into numerology that much, but I'm sure there's something significant Big massive pillars on this with beautiful detail up there, sort of a Phoenician-esque detail at the top of these massive pillars. Uh, sandstone, sandstone block. And if I'm not mistaken, for the most part, this building is all sandstone. I don't think there's any limestone or brick at all. Unless underneath, you know, underneath that sandstone, if that's a facade maybe, I don't know. But uh, pretty grand entrance, but kind of small-ish doors compared to the massive entranceway, but then they've got the windows above, and then of course the uh, eight-pointed asterisks all over this thing. All kinds of medallions and so on, all over the building as well. Seashells, very Phoenician looking, right? All along the top there are seashells and fishtails. Beautiful little detail right along that ridge line, right above the window there. This looks awful low. And... This granite looks like it was maybe added in afterwards here along the bottom. Hard to say. I know that um, this building has gone through a couple of renovations where they've replaced some of the older deteriorated sandstone with newer sandstone. But it's sourced locally and everything, so... More than likely, according to the narrative, it comes from the same quarry uh, today as it did back when this was erected. See, they got these little terraces all over the side of this thing. But I don't think that's a door. I don't see a door handle or hinges there in the middle. I see hinges on these, but those are windows that can just sort of open up. So I guess to allow airflow or something. I don't know. Now I'm not sure if originally the building was built this way or if this is an add-on that was added afterwards. I don't think so. I think this was originally, according to the narrative, all one building, all built in one, in one shot. The pigeons are loving this place. Man, I've never seen so many pigeons on a building. But uh, here on these side windows, oh, they're really looking really low too. Lots of uh, utility access jutting out everywhere here in the lower part of this building. Oh, can we get some glare? Sorry about that. So now we're at the back side of this building now. This is the west, uh, west facing side of the building. That's a really stumpy looking door. Now that's definitely a retrofit right underneath this window and then there's something blocked in there another little window at one point perhaps probably again that same gorgeous detail all along the top there and then underneath here 
And all of these windows look really low to me. I don't know. But see, they've got that one above there blocked in too. Right there. So, I want to say that at one time those were windows because it looks like it's got a sort of a header stone up, up above it and then below it too. There's a large stone. So, I'm not too sure what's going on with that. <laughs> Swing around here to the side. This is the south facing side of the building now. Really, really beautiful looking building, huh? Just in great shape. They really did a great job maintaining this thing over the years. This one looks really short too, but then they've got these sort of transom windows over top. I don't know if that's a functioning transom or if it's just made to look like one, but, but it's right underneath these windows, window, window. I wanna say, uh, I'm willing to bet dollars to Canadian donuts that that one time was a window, probably at the same height as these. And they just whacked this out and slapped a door in there. Maybe, probably, I, I don't know. Yeah, lots of gorgeous detail all along this thing. Just, you know, everywhere. But really low windows all the way around on this thing. I mean, not right down into the ground, but, you know, very close. Very, very close. Very suspicious. Again, you can see on these terraces too, or these little balconies, and little medallions there. Some kind of floral design on it and uh, now uh, seashells it looks like again sort of Phoenician once again it looks like we've got sandstone here like original maybe some repair work here a newer sandstone kind of worked in to fix some of the cracked or really eroded blocks and then right down right at the ground level here is again what I'm thinking looks like granite I, I don't think that's concrete so I wonder if maybe they sort of hacked away at some of this and then put in that those granite sort of stones. I'm not too sure. Pretty hard to say. You can see a plaque on the front of this thing, but let's go back around again and see if there's a year on this. I don't see anything at all. No plaque on the front at all except for above the door there, which I think is the Alberta Provincial Historic Site plaque. Yeah. But no, no date anywhere on this thing. So. Yeah, yeah, that's a big granite slab there. But yeah, see, no dates, nothing. Just says Calgary Public Library on it. So, yeah, I'm not too sure. No info on that. I'll tell you what I will do though. When I get home, I will uh, I'll uh, beep boop pop it on the Kajugal machine there on the Google the Googleizer. And I know there's some older pictures of this building from way back in the day. And there's something very interesting about the gardens in behind here too. They're very uh, sort of crazy geometric designs worked into the pathways and the flower gardens and stuff in behind this place. So. It's pretty hard to see it unless you see it from a bird's eye. So what maybe I'll do is I'll edit in here at some point uh, that photo from sort of a top view, bird's eye view, so you can get an idea of the strange sort of geometric patterns going on. Oh yeah, see right up there? That's a book. It's an open book in with all that scrolling and stuff there. And then that's, I, I, it's hard to tell what that is. Aladdin's lamp? Is that what, that's Aladdin's lamp there. Maybe if I rub it, I'll get three wishes. There's another lamp there. That looks like there's maybe a bell with flower petals hanging down. It's, I don't know, it's too, too tough to tell from this distance, but... But yeah, there you go. Beautiful old uh, Carnegie Library, Calgary Public Library. And uh, 
Again, no date, my apologies, but I'll do a little more research when I get home to check it out and see what's what. So yeah, that's gonna seal the deal for today. So as always, let me know what you think down below. People pop it down in the comments. And until next time, take care. Oh, there's a friendly squirrel, hey. Hey, that magpie just dive bombed that squirrel. Hey, squirrel. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Take care and have a great day.